thinking about this for a while. Optimism is poorly defined by how full a glass of water is. I think a better definition of optimism, somebody goes to a grocery store, buys a big bag of celery, with the expectation they're going to finish it. <laughs> I don't know anybody that's ever finished celery. I don't know why they don't sell them one at a time, <laughs> like bananas, so you could just throw out less stuff. There should be a garbage can past the checkout at the grocery store with a little sign that says, did you buy celery? <laughs> You're going to throw it out eventually. Why not save yourself some time? Because <laughs> here's the problem. Nobody likes celery. It's terrible. It's one of the worst foods ever. But we all eat celery when we get that Dr. Oz watching friend come at you with the tip. Hey, you want to lose a little weight? You want to drop a few pounds? Here's what you do. You go to the grocery store, get a big thing of celery, you cut her up, put it in a Tupperware in the fridge, and when you're feeling snacky, <laughs> instead of going for the junk food, what you do is you get some of that celery, because I don't know if you know that, celery's a magical food. It takes more calories to eat and digest than it actually has in it. You could starve to death if all you ate was celery. <laughs> 